What's up, friends and family? I know this is an automotive channel, but everybody got a sink. So I'm going to share with y'all how to replace a cartridge on a leaking faucet. Now, the faucet or the side that's leaking is the hot side. And the way you identify that is you just turn off when you, you just turn off your hot and your cold and in this case I already have my cold off you see how the water stopped leaking now if I turn on my cold there ain't no leak now if I turn on I'm gonna turn the cold off and I turn on hot see that leak came back so we know the cold is off and you know it's just the hot side that's the only one that's on so I got the replaceable cartridge right here and we're gonna make this simple so I'm gonna turn the hot water back off you want to make sure both sides are off when you're doing this because when you take that cartridge out if the cold is not off then it's gonna spray you when you disassemble this so the screw to take this off is hidden in here. We're going to take this and just kind of just, let's see here. We'll kind of work our way. It's plastic. It just comes right out. Look at that. Just set it right there. Make sure your sink is closed so that you don't drop nothing in it. And I just took something just real, just real small just to take that out. You can get anything. You can get a button. I can do that. Get you a, uh, a little bit of screwdriver like this to take the small screw out that's in the handle. So in this case, I already had already had this ready. This is a Torx. This is a Torx 10 or T10, and uh, it comes in many sizes. You can get this at Home Depot or Lowe's. This little tool right here, I think it was like 10 bucks. But it's worth it. You'll, you'll use it. You'll lose it if you. If you'll use it if you got glasses. I'm sure you'll tighten up your screws eventually. So anyway, um, just stick that in there and unscrew that screw. It's almost out. All right. We don't want nothing fall in there now. Even the water in there. All right. It just comes right off. Look at that. All right. And look, look what it fell in that water. Look at that. Let's take that out. All right. So you're more than halfway done at this point. So now what you're going to do is we're going to take this off and you see with the cartridge, that red piece is going to go on this cartridge. So we're going to save the red piece. In order to do that, you're just going to take a Phillips head screwdriver and you're going to take this off. Just go ahead and take it off. That way you can put it on the new cartridge. All right, comes right up. Boom, look at you. You're almost done. Look at that. Now, get you one of these little wrenches right here. And you want to put it around. Put it around your cartridge housing. And you're just going to turn to loosen it. Boom. Look at that. You just want to back it off so you can get, because when you're trying to get to the cartridge, that's all you're trying to do. You're just trying to get to that leaky cartridge. You just take that bad boy off. Let's see if we can turn it from here. It doesn't look like you turn it, so we'll just kind of muscle it. And it's just bonus material, you know, this just gonna draw more viewers. Send people to my channel, y'all see this, y'all send people to your channels. Well, on this channel, we fix sinks and we Big cards and review cards. We gonna we gonna do it all, boy. All right. Now here's the cartridge. So now 
we have to pull this up. So let's get us a. Uh, we're gonna get us like a pliers. All right, there it is. Now, put your old cartridge out of the way. And you see, it just comes right up. No problem at all, just comes right up. Now, if we didn't turn the coal side off, you'd get splashed. Ask me how I know, because I had to replace this side too. And this boy splashed me really good. All right, so let's open up the new cartridge right here. All right, with the cartridge out of the bag, notate your two tabs. And we have two tab uh, slots. They're just gonna just seat in there. Once it's seated, take your red plastic, put it right back on there. Now, off on, off on. Just making sure we're in the correct orient orientation. It needs to be doing this off. I mean, I'm sorry. This is off, on. So on, off. You want to make sure you install this correctly because if you put this on wrong, you're going to be pulling this off. So anyway, oh, it's stuck in there. Oh, well. Now, let me pull it out real quick. That way we can put the flat head. Uh, on top all right so all right now let's put this on here all right it's on here let's get our Phillips head screwdriver out and we're gonna go ahead and Finish this installation up. All right, just snug it really good. After that, uh, we'll put this little goofy sticker back on here. It says, uh, do not remove. That can be crucial when you're ordering this again if you have to. I had the box because it has a lifetime warranty. I just gave them the item number and they sent me out a new cartridge. So, all right. Once that's on there, put your handle back on. Boom, look at that. And now you're going to take your screw. Let's see if we can film this. Let me see if I can do all this at once. Good thing that's closed, you see that? That would have been a mess if that fell down through there, boy, you'd been mad. So let's see if we can get this on the screwdriver so I can film and do this. Cause I'm gonna show you the finished product of it no longer leaking and it working like you want it to. All right, so it's on there. We're gonna angle this so where we can make a direct shot. See if I can get the best angle so y'all can see it. All right. Let's go ahead and just put that in there. Maybe. Make it nice and snug here. You wanna, well, you know what? I missed something. Guess what we missed, y'all? And I'm sure y'all gonna know what it is. This. Can't make this stuff up, y'all. Can't make this stuff up, so here we go. So make sure you put that back on so it can be a complete job. I'm gonna thread this down. And what I really should do is kind of clean these threads off a little bit. Cause it's dirty. These threads are dirty, so they're not gonna, not gonna thread right. So I'm gonna clean this, we'll be right back. All right, we got these threads 
somewhat cleaned off um now it won't now it'll thread correctly won't give you so much of a problem when it goes on and i cleaned the sink off a little bit too the threads on sink see how that it's much smoother going down there's no resistance let's see here oh i'm sorry i'm going the wrong way we gotta go uh I'm gonna go clockwise on this, not counterclockwise. All right. So now we're gonna get our wrench and tighten it up the rest of the way. And this can be the boring part, but in the end, you fix your own faucet. All right. Well, we have to tighten up that whole faucet at the bottom of the sink. We have to do that too. We got the whole thing loose. So anyway, let's get that tight. We're gonna get the cartridge nice and tight. That's nice and tight. Let's see. Okay, so the sink isn't moving no more either. So it keeps everything in place. So everything is nice and firm. Do it till it's snug. Don't overdo it. You don't want to break or crack the sink. You'd be in a bad situation. Put your sticker on if you got one. Now we're gonna put this on. And now we can go ahead and tighten the handle on. Screw is still in there like we had it. Just get it real nice and tight. You don't want it to get it nice and tight. You don't want it flimsy or flimsy so we're gonna do a little test this is a tape a shake test just to make sure it's the construction is real nice now you'll put this on now let's turn on the hot side first to see if we get a leak because we want to test our product all right so the hot side is on I don't see no leaks. Now we're gonna turn it on. Boom, look at that. We'll let that run for about a minute to get any debris. And we probably should take, we're gonna take this, this off too. Anything that the filter is caught from this installation, we're gonna go ahead and rinse this out too. I'm not gonna take that, but this gives you the idea how to fix this. And uh, I'm just gonna turn it off so y'all can see again because I'm about to cut the video. No leak except that's just that's just the regular residual. So your hot water is fixed or your cold water, what it have you, whatever side is leaking, this is how you do it. Give it a shot, you can do it, and I wish y'all the best. Subscribe, like, and watch my car videos. I need you. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.